Hey there, many X viewers. You're watching the main man channel. It's not just the name, it's the way of life. You got to improvise, adapt, and overcome each and every day just to make it in this cruel old world. Appreciate y'all watching. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Anyways, that being said, topic today's video is I've got a Springfield pistol right here, a brand new Springfield pistol. And it is the Springfield Hellcat. So I'm sure a lot of you have heard about the Hellcat. They've been out quite a while. They're kind of uh, Springfield's answer to uh, the Glock 26, the Glock 43, uh, the Sig P365, the M&P Shield Plus. It's kind of their answer to, to all those pistols. The uh, Micro 9s who are double stack and got high capacity, uh, of course, you know. It's their answer to that genre, like the Sig 60, uh, 365 category, that kind of that kind of nature. The Micro 9s, like I say, that have a pretty decent capacity and are double stacked. But anyway, let's take a look at it. It comes in a little pouch, which is not bad. And then the box has got your paperwork in it. And then here it says your accessories. And it's going to come with a lock, the extra magazine. It's got one of them little mag loaders to help you out where you don't wear your thumb out on these magazines. These magazines are pretty cool, stainless. This one here is the 11 rounder. It's got the black on it. And the other one is got the, uh, got the, uh, uh, the FDE blade, uh, base plate on it, the FDE colored base plate, because this is the FDE one. And uh, these things are made in Croatia, kind of like the uh, XDMs and all that. But like I say, this thing's got the FDE ba base plate on it. Also came with a little chamber flag. But anyway, that's what she looks like. Very, very, very Glock 26, Sig P365. Uh, M&P Shield Plus size. Speaking of that, I have the old M&P Shield Plus right here to compare. It's actually a little bit smaller all the way around than the Shield Plus. Of course, I know this baby worked there were some coyotes and a calf one time. Bad situation. And it took care of it. But anyway. Alright, so. This thing looks pretty cool. Alright, and. Uh, so let's cock it. Let's just go ahead and drop that mag too. That'll be easier to maneuver that trigger. But yeah, I do like them stainless mags in it. So you get 11 plus one capacity with this, and you get 13. Well, you get 11 round capacity with this, 13 round capacity with this, of course, you can plus one even one of them. So that's a pretty good carry for a pocket-sized pistol. I do think they are, I do think a double-stack pistol is a little bit thick for carrying in the pocket, but it depends on what pocket, what pants you got, and, and everything. It can be done. It just bulges a little. But anyway, a trigger seems pretty great on it. Yeah, not a lot of take up and bang. Yep. That tires you take up. It's got that little blade safety on it, like a lot of new the striker fire does. It's just another little polymer, wonder polymer, nine millimeter. Boom. Okay. Now I do like the grip texture on it. And it's got it's actually got grip texture over here. Or where you can index it. And got a grip texture up here if you want to put your thumb there like I like to do. And uh, that's pretty cool too. Anyway, they had this booger on sale for $3.99. That's the cheapest I ever seen one of these. These sons of guns go for $4.99, $5.99 all the time. Now this one don't have any special stuff on it. It's just got the U front sight. But it does have some kind of... Uh, front night side on it. I do know that. 
So that's pretty cool, you know. As long as you focus on the front sight, you're probably gonna hit what you what you're aiming at. Anyway, let's check that reset on it. We forgot to do that reset. Right there, bang. One more time. Right there, bang. Now you can hear a little bit, you can hear the springs. The springs sound a little bit creaky in this trigger. That might wire on out uh, as you're doing it, but it is what it is. I mean, if you want to complain about that, you know, you can, whatever. But you can hear it and you can feel a little bit of creaking in the springs. But, uh, yeah. So, only thing left to do is try this one out on the range. And, uh, it being $3.99, and it being not a black one, it being a different colored one, a FDE one, I was like, why not? And it's another one of them Royal King sales. Royal King, they keep having these gun sales. They're going to... Are you gonna break me? It is what it is. <laughs> anyway, I love it each. I love each and every one of y'all. God bless you, and I'll catch you next time.